I'm so glad to see everybody here. First, I want to say thank you to all the people who submitted paintings. We've got 86 entries and they were fabulous. And as Carolyn said earlier, the competition was fierce and she had a she had a real struggle to pick out some, you know, from the other ones. It, um, it was a big job. And we want to thank Carolyn for doing that as well. It, I know that's it's hard. There was no names, you know, on the entry. So it was totally anonymous. And uh, she did her best to pick out the ones that she thought was the best ones. And we thank her for that. We also want to thank uh, our sponsors. Uh, and Kavita may talk more about that. Um, some of those sponsors uh, gave us awards that some of the people who win um, something today will get. So thank you to that. Thanks to Marika for posting and advertising and doing all those things to get everybody here today. It's a big job too, and, and we appreciate that. And then last, a very, very special thanks to Kavita because she has, when you see her presentation today, you're gonna be very wowed. Um, she's, she's put her all into this. And I think um, what you see uh, in terms of the actual presentation will just blow you away. So Kavita, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody and um, take it away Kavita. Thank you, thank you, Susan. Um, this is really exciting. We all hope and hope that, you know, next annual show will be going live like uh, into the actual galleries, but this is the best we can do this year. And we are really excited to uh, start um, kick off this annual show, 53rd annual show. So welcome everyone to Santa Clara Valley Watercolor Society's 53rd annual show, Spring is Sprung. And we are, as Susan said, we were blown away by the entries that we received in such short amount of time because we recently had the Instagram online show as well. And people uh, submitted uh, really, really great work. And um, we had 86 entries, as um, as we all know. And this time, no one had access to the uh, entries like we had for the Instagram show. So this is going to be a surprise for all of you as well. It will be nice to see all other people's work uh, during this presentation. And we are live on Facebook, and we are also recording for YouTube. So um, anytime uh, you want to share and um, go back and visit and see the presentation again, it will be there and we'll share the information uh, through our emails. To start um, the show, let me introduce Caroline. Most of you already know her. Uh, Caroline graciously accepted our invitation to be the judge for our annual show and had really uh, uh, fun comments. I'm not gonna disclose them yet but amazing comments for many of the artworks and I'm sure all of you will enjoy her uh, critique and comments about the artwork. Uh, she tried her best to uh, give as much as comments, I would say, and I was surprised that uh, you, Caroline, thank you so much that you actually commented on so many artworks and we are, we are really grateful for that. And uh, just talking about um, introducing um, uh, Caroline, she, uh, has worked with acrylic watercolor. Uh, recent years, she has moved to digital artwork, uh, which most of you know, and who uh, doesn't know, let me uh, tell you about it. She has co-founded a mobile art academy specializing in iPad digital art exhibition and education. And uh, you can, if you go on her website, mobileartacademy.com, you will see there are plenty of options um, which are focused on digital art. And this is really uh, booming nowadays, you can say. And uh, um, it's really great to see that digital art um, is, uh, is offered in many ways through her uh, website, which is actually, you don't find this actually in too many, too many uh, places. Uh, you definitely have uh, you know, watercolor, uh, people who teach watercolor acrylic medium. Uh, oil medium, but uh, I think digital artwork is something uh, which is new and uh, it's really nice to see that Caroline and her work and her team uh, has come up with this, um, you know, beautiful website and her personal website, everyone knows and her personal work, if you want to see, uh, please go on carolinemaster.com. Um, uh, recently, she has also written her first book, Joy of Drawing, 
uh, which is first in the series, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I think we will have many more coming up. Uh, this book uh, is also uh, has, has a club uh, which you can join and there are few options which, um, which, is, um, which you can actually uh, you know, use and it comes with free demos and free um, workshops which comes along with this book. This is just not a book. Uh, it's basically a complete package that you can follow along the book and using the free workshops and demos, you can uh, also get uh, hands-on experience. Um, it also has a community uh, which, uh, which you can use. Uh, you can share your artwork, you can share your comments with other people who are taking uh, the same class. So which is a great uh, tool again uh, from Caroline. So thank you, Caroline, for um, uh, you know beautiful work that you've been doing throughout the years in the Bay Area and everyone knows uh, your work and you have exhibited in many places uh, and many mediums. Uh, I, 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 I was surprised to see the list that you have almost touched every medium, uh, including gauche and oil and acrylic, uh, which is great. So uh, everyone who wants to know more, uh, please go on Caroline's page and her uh, website links we will share on uh, our, our website as well. Santa and, Clara and in addition, uh, Kavita, just a quick plug, Carolyn's also doing a drawing workshop for us. Yes. So next Sunday, she's going to have a demo. Uh, I hope that everybody can attend for her drawing with her uh, co-host, Katie. And uh, the workshop is coming. Um, let's see. I can't remember the exact dates, but it's coming up soon here in like the end of April. <laughs> so yes. check that out as well. Yeah. Yes. Check that out. It's going to be fun. And um, uh, and Caroline is already wearing very springy clothes, so we are already feeling like spring is prime. <laughs> uh, theme is perfect, and uh, I think we can uh, get started with this show. Caroline, I would really like you to uh, officially announce that our show is open, and even if it's online, I think uh, uh, let's let's uh, you know kick off the show. Uh, you know, awesome. Thank you, Kavita. <laughs> And I'm so, was so honored to be asked to jury the show by Susan and Kavita, got to know them, very excited. Um, and as Susan said, um, my, my co-author, Katie and myself, um, I actually, interestingly enough, although I was obsessed with digital painting um, for about five years, six years, uh, I went back to my roots and I'm, I went back to gouache painting and now I'm, I'm almost entirely paint with oil. Uh, water-based oil, and uh, and I, I always draw. But we're putting together something interesting for you um, next week, uh, where we actually have thought a lot about drawing for artists who are painters and what painters need to know from a viewpoint of drawing. But so it's great honor that I officially open Spring is Sprung. Yay. <laughs> Yay. If I had some um, some um, um, uh, wine, I'd toast us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you so much, Caroline. And uh, let's get into our show. And this year, because it's so different than all our previous years, this is uh, this was a challenge actually to put together this show. Uh, we just wanted to have something uh, which is closer to the actual show in the gallery. And we tried our best to put together something. And I hope that you all enjoy it and like it. Uh, this is still, um, uh, I wouldn't say a perfection, but a good try. <laughs> and hopefully next time we'll all walk into a gallery and uh, you know enjoy all everyone's painting. But this, this one, uh, I would like to share my screen and then I'll walk you through how to how to navigate and then of course we'll we'll play it uh, once for all of us so let me share my screen oh great i'm just going to go full screen and let me know if you can see I think it's taking just a few minutes to go full full screen. Yes, we can see it really well. Yep. So this is our virtual gallery, people. 
<laughs> this is <laughs> this is uh, what we could come up with uh, just to give us a feel of a uh, of a you know gallery and just walking through uh, you know every uh, part of the gallery and you know enjoying the shows so this uh, this has uh, one gallery um, section and then there is a door and you can go into the second part of the gallery uh, all the 86 uh, paintings are featured in this and let me just give a few um, uh, tips and tricks so that you know when we share the link you all will be able to enjoy it more um uh, so this uh, you can you can play um, a guided tour because i have created a guided tour so that uh, just just for the ease of navigation you know you, that if if you just click on play it will take you from uh, first gallery to second gallery and it will take you from first painting to the 86th painting um if you want to pause any time you can just pause your button um for the show and you can just you know enjoy it. any particular painting if you want to you know look carefully or you know uh, enjoy it for more time uh, so you can pause and replay again anytime you want and uh, uh, if you want to go a manual navigation if you see this footsteps wherever you click um, it's basically if you take the footsteps anywhere and you just click basically you will be standing there and then you can turn around and look at the wall and uh, enjoy you know the painting um uh, i would say uh, the, the old fashioned mouse with a scroll works perfect instead of the touch pads so that's another trick touch pads are a little tricky to use when it comes to these kind of you know uh virtual shows so i would suggest the old fashioned uh, uh mouse is perfect so use that um and uh, i will share the link for this um with everyone and you can share it with all your friends and family if you'd like uh as our regular annual show how how we usually have it open for a month or something we can keep this um online for a month and within that month you are welcome to share with everyone and enjoy and then we'll take it down uh, after a month because of course it's it's online and uh, we want to protect everyone's artwork as well so i have marked all the artwork as all rights reserved so hopefully that should take care of most of it but uh, let's get into it i'll just play a guided tour and then um, uh, at your time whenever you have time you can uh, walk you know play when uh, slowly or pause as you want so let's go into it. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Caroline, I think you can see the names now <laughs> for all that work. Oh, good. Oh, yes, great. <laughs> oh, this time I couldn't add the music. By the way, I wanted to add the music, but I think this is fine. so this tour if um, if you want later on you can pause every every time or um, go manual
Um, I'm having trouble seeing the gallery. Uh, is it? It's, it's showing fine. So I'm not sure who that was. It should be, it should be uh, on your Zoom window because I'm sharing the screen through Zoom. It, it's not coming up. Okay. I, again, we're not sure who's speaking. Uh, it's Martha. Uh, Martha, you need to be looking at it on the on your through the Zoom. She is screen sharing. I'm not getting it. Is it the gallery view or something you're seeing? I, I'm not getting the gallery view. You need to click that on your device. On the right hand side corner, if you choose the. So uh, one more tip I wanted to give is uh, just click on this door whenever you come to this and it will open to the next gallery. Did it stop? I think let me just quickly. Beautiful work by everyone. I think we will spend a lot of time on uh, each each wall. The interesting thing here is that you get to see the size of the painting. Oh, yes. Um, whereas when we just see the images, it's hard to gauge how large or small one is. So this is interesting to see side by side the difference. I actually um, made sure that um, the scale is right uh, because luckily everyone had submitted the size for the original artwork, which was very helpful. Uh, and I thought it, it's just, um, you know, making justice to each artwork because, you know, some are really big, some are small, but it's unique in its own way. Next time, definitely we have to add some music. <laughs>
And we wanted to just add um, one of Kathy's uh, artwork. I should go somewhere else, so Chris doesn't have to hear. Mm -hmm. I should go somewhere else for this. So when you actually um, play this, um, either you can choose to autoplay or you can walk around with the mouse click and uh, go from each painting to another, you know, next one. I'm still not getting the gallery. <laughs> I think I will send uh, the email, um, a link in the email, if you could, or try try the gallery view again um, on the right-hand side. Okay, well, we, we can help you offline, uh, Martha. So we're just gonna keep continuing. Um, this, it, we will be sending an email out about review, you know, looking at this again. Well, that's awesome, Kavita. It looks, I hope it looks like a gallery. <laughs> it, it's, uh, I think, around 40 um, paintings in the first gallery, and the second one has like around 40. Great job, Kavita. Thank it you. It looks Thank really you. nice, Kavita. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yes, it was. But I, I uh, so I think this is, this is the end. And I, I, I was just trying to see if we can have, you know, um, a, like a real gallery feel that, you know. <laughs> so, you did really well. And then, um, of course, we can anytime, you know, um, either replay or pause and, you know, zoom in. You can zoom in as well. And um, as I said, using these footsteps, like click and walk you can actually walk through it. And there is only one door between those two galleries. Uh, you just have to click on the door to enter into the next gallery, otherwise you won't be able to see. So uh, just, um, or I can send the you know, uh, information um, when I'm sending the link for this. And uh, as I said, we can you know, uh, have, um, have this up for almost a month and then we'll take it down. Uh, but yeah, I mean, meantime, we can share on Facebook and uh share with your friends and family so all right well good thank you all right yeah uh, so that that was um the gallery all 86 paintings i hope uh, this is the first time i think everyone got a chance to see all of them i hope everyone was amazed uh, to see the artwork and just um based on spring top like topic you know just spring um, there are so many different um, themes and some different ways people interpret things and uh, you know paint different ways it was amazing to see um, Caroline would you like to say something about um, all the paintings yeah I, I was um, very impressed with the skill and the um, the interpretations that people came up with so many um, they were all terrific it was very hard um, you know, so I, I want to make sure everybody knows that these are my personal picks. I, I'm going to give you why I picked them. But if I didn't pick you, don't take it personally. I've been an artist for a long time. I know what it's like. You know, you put your work in and the juror is the juror. You just, you know, I, one of my um, uh, good friends um, says, you know, I, 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 I have to put my, my paintings in 10 places before I'll get even selected to be shown in one. So I just wanna make sure you understand that. Um, it's really important to, not to take it personally. This is just, these are just my picks. And um, so I'm very pleased to be able to do that. Um, I just wanna know, Kavita, is there a way you can actually show the artwork or- Yes, did... yes, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's if go- you can, If you can share with me, uh, like if you share screen with me, so we both on, and then you can somehow show the picture, or how does that yeah. work? Or Let's, I'll talk over it. I will. I'll um, share your I, screen. I will uh, 
announce each um, award and then I'll share the painting and then of course you can uh, talk Perfect. about uh, each painting and each winner of course and we would like to hear it I'm sure all the winners uh, would like to hear it too and um, rest of the comments for other paintings uh, we will post it on uh, our website because there are plenty yeah. <laughs> and we won't be able to comment it. on your painting it isn't because it wasn't worthy of merit but I just couldn't do everything. So I just commented on things I immediately had something to say about. So, you know, don't, it's just the comments that I had and you know, what I felt about your painting. But if I didn't comment, it's not because your painting wasn't good, believe me. <laughs> yeah, we understand. We appreciate um, all your work and all comments and critics because uh, our our main intention was to share it with everyone and um having critique positive negative anything is fine and uh, you know that i think we all appreciate that and let's start with announcing the winners uh, we'll start with uh, emerging artist um let me share all i know it is by numbers so now i'm going to see the <laughs> yes, yes. them uh, yeah in the presentation, but I'm really looking forward to seeing, putting a, a name with the painting and the title. <laughs> yes, and I, I have uh, informed all the winners, uh, hopefully they are joining and uh, we will be able to talk to them. Uh, so let's, let's announce the first one, Emerging Artist. Uh, the award goes to Elizabeth Locke for Akamai. Elizabeth, are you on the call? Um, I yes, I'm on the call. Oh, perfect. Congratulations. Let me let me share um, the work and then Caroline can talk about it. So I was amazed at the skill that had been put together, uh, had been from Elizabeth. Um, not only is this a really fascinating and interesting composition, but the drawing skill and the technical skill um, is just amazing. I mean, it, it, it's hardly emerging, but it really deserved it because it was so unusual. I actually was very impressed with all the emerging artists, I have to say. I loved many of them. So, but this just had to have a prize. You know, like you look at Omol and you go, I, I, I got to give this. Like when I saw emerging artists, I went, I got to give this one a prize. It's beautiful and extremely well done and so fascinating and such an interesting um, um, rendering, just beautifully rendered, so well done. Go let, ahead. Me, let me add um, the webmaster Elizabeth is our scholarship winner. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, that's terrific, well deserved. Congratulations Elizabeth, and let me tell you what you will be receiving. Uh, you will be receiving $100 uh, gift card from CalArt, um, a book from Terry Hill, uh, introductory set of 12 watercolors from Golden Paints. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Fun. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, move on to best concept. Best concept goes to Let me just quickly exit so that I can share the correct image. Uh, it goes to Karen, um, Karen Drucker for spring comes to four corners. Let me share the screen. Karen is cannot be with us today. <laughs> oh, <it's, laughs> okay. Let me share it. Then. So I selected this one. Number one, I thought it was a beautiful abstraction. Um, I thought it was really lovely. I loved the uh, work that was done on it. But then when I read her poem in the bottom right, I can't read it from here, but it's a beautiful poem. So I really felt it was such a, a, a great piece of conceptual art that I, I um, gave it the prize. Um, I really liked it and I wanted it to be recognized somewhere in your show because I thought it was lovely. Um, and just very restful feeling, beautiful. Yes, beautiful painting. We'll let uh, Karen know. I, I, I think she knows that she wants something, but she doesn't know what. <laughs> so we'll, we'll send, the, send the information to her. Uh, the next one. I, I, am in, I am in touch with Karen. I just heard from her today. So I'll send her a message and let her know. Perfect, perfect. Thanks, Michelle. 
Next one we have is best technique and um, best technique goes to Debbie Baker for Clementine's appeal. And let me share my screen. Hey there. <laughs> Are you there? Oh, congratulations. I'm here. <laughs> let me go back to hold on a second. I think, um, let me, let me. Hi. Hi. Navigate yeah. from <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. It's a beautiful work. Beautiful work, Debbie. It's moving from one camera to uh, one window to another. It's taking time. <laughs> okay, sure. there you go. <laughs> this is an outstanding piece of um, work. It's uh, it's um, um, quite stunning. Uh, the feeling of the glass, like it's just you could feel that glass bowl. The feeling of the different, um, you know, I mean, it it's just the blueberries are perfect. Everything's really very precise. It's just great piece of te technical work, um, uh, quite apart from a lovely painting. Um, but technically, it's just quite spectacular. So very well done. Um, and I'm a great admirer. I, I don't paint anything like this. So I always <laughs> admire people that can. Uh, it takes great skill. So uh, terrific. Well done. Congrats. Thank you. Congratulations, Davey. And you will be receiving $300 gift card from Cheap Joe's and uh, a book from Terry Hill and a $50, $50 gift card from Golden Fields. So wow, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Uh, so let's move on to the honorable mentions. We have three honorable mentions and uh, first one goes to number 51. Karen O'Neill, I, I hope Ka uh, Karen is there on the call. Let me share her one. I'm here. I don't know why okay. photo wasn't showing a bit ago, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Let me share your work. It's beautiful. So I got 100. I, I, I am actually really sorry. That is actually President's Award. Exactly. <laughs> I am really sorry. So, Karen, I you have to, to give it a <laughs> So, Susan and I, I wanted to because I thought it was such an amazing painting. But shall we leave it till later for Susan to award? Uh, we can we can talk about it. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, we can go. Uh, I mean, yeah. this, let's let's yeah. just go ahead and do it. So, yeah, this is the President's Award. This is the President's Award. Yes. Yeah. Writer, doing your painting. Uh, Susan, would you like to say a few things about? Oh, I thought Car Carolyn, uh, you had comments about this. I would yeah. just um, what I what blew me away with this piece um, was um, just the it's it, it has a more abstract flavor to it, but the um, work with the brushwork in the vase I think is utterly beautiful. Um, I just was I just absolutely loved it. I mean, it's a piece I would personally like to have. It's just gorgeous. So a very, very beautiful. So thank you for doing that painting. It's lovely, very interpretive, and I love it. Woo! Woo -hoo. <laughs> beautiful. So um, Karen, you will be receiving a $150 gift card from Susan, uh, Daniel Smith, uh, 12 watercolor uh, set. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I think uh, most of the um, awards definitely has some kind of uh, paint uh, colors. So I, I, we, are, we are hoping that we'll see more and more of these beautiful paintings. <laughs> let's let's uh, move on to the next one. Uh, now, now it's actually time for the honorable mention. Uh, third one, uh, third uh, place goes to uh, Cheryl Fang for American Dream. Let me share. Congratulations, Cheryl. I hope you are on the call. Yes, thank you. Congratulations. Let me share your work. It's beautiful. Vita, this is an honorable mention, correct? Yes. Yeah. So I was just, um, I was in love with this painting 
the minute I saw it. Um, it was so personal. Um, it reminded me very much of the Japanese, um, you know, paintings of like the insides of people's kitchens and it's so personal and the coloring is just superb. And so I just felt, um, I just felt a, a connection to the painting and the, the pride of the baby. And I don't know, it was just a lovely painting. And I wanted also in my pics to span different types of paintings. Um, and I found this to be um, the best personally that I found of the figurative, um, it, you know, a painting of people. There were many very good ones, but this just talked to me. I feel like it had such power and, and, and passion in it. So very, very nice job, beautiful work. Thank you, thank you so much. Congratulations, Jane. Thank you. And you will be receiving $100 gift card and a Terry Hill book and uh, Daniel Smith, again, Jean has a set of 10 watercolors. Uh, so congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> So we are um, moving on to the next honorable mention. We have Christy Miller for um, Ask Arms. Christy, are you on the call? Yes, I am. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me share your work. So here I um, awarded Christy because it's a it's an abstraction um, from something obviously that you you saw, but it was so beautiful, beautifully beautiful composition, the use of color, the delicacy of the lines. Uh, I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous, and um, so um, and I wanted to. I, I felt it was the best in terms of the um, more abstractions. I, I loved it, and so very well done. Like, great, great job. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Christy. You will be receiving $100 gift card and a book from Terry Hill and another $100 gift card from University Art. <laughs> great. So, <laughs> awesome, Christy. Yeah. And one more honorable mention we have is for um, uh, the artwork path from Helen Jones. Helen, Helen, are you on the call? Yes, I am. Hi, Thank you. <laughs> Let me share your work. Switching from multiple windows, it's crazy. <laughs> You're doing fabulous. So I um, looked at the, you know, there were, when I looked at the show, there were, different, um, you know, some of the work was um, of landscapes, others were, uh, you know, a few of people, a lot of flowers, etc. Uh, I just fell in love with this landscape. And the reason I fell in love with it is number one, it's a really nice painting and beautiful um, execution. But more than that, um, she's really got this feeling of um, movement. Um, and the diagonal lines as they move up and, and all of the different uh, the patterns, I just thought it was absolutely um, beautiful. And um, it, it's just lovely. It's just a really, really, really nice, beautiful, gorgeous painting. So you did a fabulous job. The coloring is so lovely. And um, I, I just really love the way you've constructed it. And it has some passion to it. I feel like I, I really, you know, I can um, relate a lot to this particular painting. Um, there are some painters in England um, that when I was in art school, I used to love very, very much that painted a lot like this. And, um, you know, I lived in the Cotswolds, which is a beautiful part of England and it brought memories back. So I was just super impressed by this. I thought it had a lot of, um, a lot of power. It's a very powerful painting, I feel, even though it's quiet, it's got a lot of power. Thank you. So yeah, well done, gorgeous. Yeah, congrats. We can be very proud of that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you will be receiving $100 gift card and a book from Terry Hill and um, another gift card, $100 from University Art. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. 
And now it's time for our um, three top paintings, first, second, and third. Uh, so we'll start with the third place. Third place goes to Nancy Ryan for taking a joy ride. I hope Nancy is on the call. Let me share her work. Is Nancy here? I see two Nancys, but I'm not sure. They both, they don't have a last name. That's it. Okay, let me, let me share her work. Um, and then we can talk about it. Yes, this. So I fell in love with this. It is, for me, I just thought it was so whimsical and beautiful. And you don't really quite know what it is. Um, you know, it could be a leaf, but it's a leaf that's become like a propeller, like a person, like, it's just so imaginative and so creative and such a beautiful little gem of a painting. Um, I think it's fairly small, but it doesn't matter. It just took my, I, I just personally fell in love with it. It's just, it's just like a little gem. It's, and it's perfectly executed, very, just lovely. It, and I think it really speaks to what you can do with watercolor that you just can't do with other mediums where you can just create these. It reminds me of a, an illustration by, you know, um, one of the great watercolor illustrators. So I, I really thought it was fabulous. And um, like all, you know, good paintings, it could be a number of things. So the viewer, um, you know, is in, intrigued by it and you wonder what it is and it could be anything. There are little figures there, but you don't quite know what they are. So um, anyway, thought it was lovely. Well done. Very, very well deserved. Yeah, it's a beautiful one. And uh, it definitely makes you think uh, what it is and you want to know the story behind it. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to Nancy later on what, what she was thinking. Um, you know, what is the story behind it? <laughs> we would love to hear. All right, so Nancy will uh, receive $300 um, uh, gift certificate from S Santa Clara Valley Watercolor Society. And moving on to the second place, we have uh, Douglas Greer for Leaf Tea. I hope Douglas is on the call. Let's I'm here, yes, I'm surprised to hear. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, so, yes. Are you surprised? Why are you surprised, Douglas? <laughs> well, I just uh, all these great paintings, and uh, so uh, the uh, it's I'm surprised that uh, this came in as well. Um, in fact, I'm in another I'm in another show right now with the California Watercolor Association, which won an honorable mention. So I was expecting a, another honorable mention, but this is fine. This is great. It, uh, I'm I'm interested in your comments on this uh, yeah. this little dough. Yeah. So um, I, I just was completely taken away by this painting. Um, I think it's fairly large, um, but I don't, I don't know. I, I saw when you were showing the paintings. I love, um, it reminds me um, of a tapestry, like a portion of a tapestry, you know, from a medieval, not a medieval, but a Renaissance tapestry. The coloring, the feel, it really feels like spring. It's so beautiful. Um, so I just fell in love with it. I can't say anything more to that. Um, it's well put together. It's beautifully painted. The brushwork is, uh, it just communicates to me. It really communicated spring is sprung. And I love the fact that the background is yellow. I love that. And um, it was just so unusual. And, um, you know, you just have to put, you have to go with your heart. It's just for me, um, it just, I just thought it was lovely. Just a, such a beautiful painting. So well done, Douglas, you did a great job. Thank you. It also, it tells a story obviously with the little doe eating the leaves. Just some of the leaves are gone, others are there. And uh, so it, there's, and I like, I like stories in paintings and that has a cute story. Awesome, awesome, just gorgeous. Yeah, it, it has, you know, it could be like any um, painting, you can put your own story into it too, you know? Yes, yes. And um, a good painting um, allows you to do that. You know, it's not so uh, literal that you have to, you know, you kind of could put anything into this. So 
I, I just I just thought it was a fabulous painting. What you know, good good job. Thank you. Fabulous. Congratulations. You will be receiving five hundred dollar um, uh, certificate from Santa Clara Valley Watercolor Society. So congratulations, Douglas. Yeah, like I, I tried to in my picks. I tried to take what I thought were the best animal, you know, um, landscape, you know, and the final one is is you'll see, is uh, you'll see what it is. <laughs> so like you know, so I tried to kind of you know abstract. I tried to kind of choose between different genres of painting and give each genre, um, you know, a chance to, for a prize from my perspective. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, so, so the final uh, award uh, for today's show is the first place, which goes to Linda Curtis for Black Irises. I hope Linda is there. Congratulations. I'm, alive, so I'm really surprised. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Let me share your work. Here you go, beautiful work. So why did I choose this? I chose it for specific reasons. Number one, it's it draws me in completely. I'm completely drawn to it. It's beautifully executed. It's just superbly well done. But it has more than a single message to it, even if the artist didn't intend it. I, you know, I don't know what you intended, but. The fact that it's it's called Black Iris, and I had no idea that that was what it was called, but it has, you can take this painting in two ways. Um, there were many very, very beautifully executed paintings of flowers. I have to say they were gorgeous. Uh, the red, what the, the, the pink, the, the, the one that was all pinks and the one that were close-ups and other ones, you know, ones with the wet on wet, they were all beautiful. What was special about this for me is that it had a kind of a dark side to it. You could look at it two ways. You know, most pa paintings of flowers are just beautiful and pretty, but this had more. They're also a bit menacing. And, you know, they, and that's why I think it's great that you've called it Black Iris. I didn't know the name, but I found that you could look at it as being beautiful, but you could also look at it as being a little bit menacing. And, um, and that I love in a painting. You can look at it different ways. You can look at it one day, and it looks beautiful. And you look at it another day, um, and those those irises seem to be about to eat you. you know? <laughs> Just if you like, <laughs> if I was like a, a you know um, um, a, a, you know an insect, and I was going to go in there like, ooh, approach at your peril. I don't know what it's going to do. It could eat you up. So I just found that it, this was so special because um, the art it's very uh, dramatic. And it has a lot of drama and different ways that you can look at it, which I really feel set something apart for me. When I look at a painting, it has I have has to set me apart or make me think or a new way of looking. That's me. So I, I can't apologize for how I look at art. That's just the way it is. And I thought it was, um, but I also thought it was the most beautiful um, piece of work. It's like stunning piece of render, a stunning rendering. So very well done, I'm Linda. So Thank you very much. <laughs> Beautiful. Congratulations, Linda. You will be receiving $700 gift certificate from Santa Clara Valley Watercolor Society. And congratulations to all the winners. We had 10 awards and all worthy of recognition, what they deserve. And congratulations to everyone. Let's have a big round of applause for all the winners. <laughs> and thank um, you so much for giving me the honor of being your your um, your judge. So I hope everybody enjoyed my presentation, and you know, I did the best I could. So. Yeah, it was wonderful work. And as I say, the ones I selected were, you know, there, uh, you can see the work, my own work behind me on the wall and you can see, 
Yeah, you know what? Every artist has their own particular thing that kind of sets them off. So these are the ones that set me off. And I really appreciate the chance of looking at all of your work. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline, for, for picking uh, you know, the winners and uh, talking about each uh, artwork and listening to you was amazing. Uh, and I think um, when we have more time and uh, uh, go through all these paintings one more time, uh, I think we'll, we'll look you know, more, more in detail as Douglas said, when Douglas mentioned the, the, oh, there are leaves on few branches and few not, uh, that's when I actually noticed. <laughs> yeah, right. I said, oh, uh, actually it would be really nice to, you know, listen from everyone what the story um, behind everyone's artwork is. Um, uh, it's, it's wonderful to know what, you know, what the thought was behind, behind each artwork. And it was amazing to see all, all the paintings and uh, congratulations one more time to everyone. And you will receive all the instructions um, about um, how you will be receiving the, uh, the gifts and prizes because of course this is uh, online. So we have to kind of arrange, uh, arrange it later on uh, for us to kind of send everything to you and you will receive all the, all the details through emails. Uh, and I now want to just um, uh, thank whoever you know helped uh, to put together this show because it was quite a bit and um, I would like to start um, thanking all our sponsors first of all uh, because without uh, their uh, contributions um, it wouldn't have been possible to have so many beautiful prizes and uh, watercolors as I was saying that we will see more and more work because we have so many uh, sets of watercolors uh, that we are um, giving away. Uh, so let me just uh, list out our sponsors. Um, uh, first of all, um, uh, University Art uh, for, for um, giving us uh, $200 uh, you know, gift certificate. Uh, let me just list out, let me, yeah. Uh, and uh, Terry Hill for giving us um, six uh, of the watercolor books that everyone, uh, we just distributed to everyone so that everyone has a chance to have one copy. And uh, the next one I would like to thank uh, CalArts for giving us $200 gift certificate. Uh, Daniel Smith for um, donating um, three sets of watercolor uh, sets. Um, uh, another um, sponsor uh, was uh, Golden, uh, Golden Paints, uh, who uh, donated uh, sets of watercolor as well as $50 gift certificate. And um, the last one uh, we have is uh, $300 gift certificate from Cheap Joe's. Um, so congratulations to all the winners and thank you so much to all the sponsors who supported us uh, in this in this. Um, event. And um, one more sponsor we have is the Blick discount. Uh, that coupon uh, I will be sending out to all the members because it's a, it's a discount coupon so we all can use it. And I'll be sending that out today to all the members. Uh, so we, we, we can all enjoy the uh, discount. And then uh, to put together this show, um, I want to start with uh, thanking Candy first. Uh, Candy, you uh, thank you so much, Candy, for uh, picking up the phone and calling all the <laughs> um, possible sponsors to you know uh, try to get us um, a sponsorship and uh, donations. And she was on top of it, uh, calling everyone, emailing, filling out all the forms. So thank you so much, Candy. Great, great support from you. <laughs> I know there were a couple of packages which were stuck uh, in USPS or uh, FedEx, and uh, you made sure that we have everything uh, on time to to give it give it away to all the winners. So thank you so much, uh, Susan and Karen. I know uh, I literally ask <laughs> uh, you for help uh, because. We, we were short on, um, you know, volunteers and uh, you and Karen just jumped in and, you know, helped with getting more and more uh, sponsors for the show. So thank you so much, Susan and Karen and uh, Vicky for helping us today through uh, recording the show and uh, managing the, you know, uh, multiple uh, live shows going on. So thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, uh, thank you, Caroline, uh, for, you know, uh, putting so much effort into picking up all the you know work and 
commenting on so many works so thank you so much it was it was great listening to your comments and uh, how you uh, go about judging judging the you know uh, work that was really nice and uh, we we of course uh, will see you soon for workshops and many more events uh, in future so thank you so much it was really nice working with you thank you and, Dina. and susan thank you so and, welcome yeah and uh, i we will have next show um, in june and i will post the information on exhibit page um, i um, and the and the theme for the show as well so please check uh, the exhibition page uh, next week coming week and you will have all the information most probably our june show is going to be online again because of the situation we are all in uh, hopefully that will change uh, soon but the june one i think we will still have it online uh, so you will find all the information on our website soon um, with that uh, i would like to um, uh, Susan, would you like to add something? And then maybe we can play the show one more time if, because I think it was not enough to <laughs> see it once. So maybe we can end with that. Uh, but would you like to say something? Again, uh, just as you said, thank you to everyone. Thank you to Carolyn, our sponsors. Everybody who, you know, takes a village. I always say that to put this show on and Kavita, you did a wonderful job. So. Um, if you want to end with the show, that's fine. I think we'll stop recording though. And then for everybody else who wants to see it again, if you don't want to stay on, that link will be sent out shortly, probably by tomorrow, as well as it being on YouTube. So thank you all for attending. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, everyone. I know it was um, online and it's not the same, but I, I hope everyone enjoyed the show and uh, Everyone will uh, go on and check out that link and the show again and take your time to enjoy each painting uh, as you go. So thank you so much for joining this Sunday afternoon. All right. Thank you.